Welcome to Tesla Car World. The latest news about the Tesla bot Optimus Gen 3 has just sent shockwaves across the globe. We started production in June and we're ramping new quality builds and things around the quarter. Tesla has officially confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 entered real world testing this past June, ahead of its official debut at the company's big November event. What's even more impressive? This humanoid robot is capable of handling 80 to 100 household tasks a day, learning directly from video without needing constant human control. According to Tesla's data, the bot has already logged over 12,000 hours in virtual simulations and 3,500 hours of testing in controlled environments. During that time, it learned how to recognize kitchen items, organize household tools, and even prepare meals from raw ingredients. In other words, Optimus Gen 3 isn't just assisting, it's taking initiative. Think grabbing fresh vegetables, placing a pan on the stove, and adjusting cooking temperatures for each dish. So, what exactly can Optimus Gen 3 do today? Is it truly 100% intelligent, or are there still limitations? And the big question is, will the first Gen 3 units really cost between $200,000 and $500,000? As the rumors suggest, in a recent trial inside Tesla's research lab, the Tesla bot successfully prepared a full breakfast with eggs, toast, and fruit in just 15 minutes. That included washing the ingredients, cracking the eggs, managing the stove, and plating the meal. Thanks to its advanced AI algorithms, Optimus can anticipate the next step in a dynamic environment. If water boils too quickly, it automatically lowers the heat. If a spice jar is misplaced, it identifies and retrieves the right ingredient on its own. Beyond cooking, Optimus Home is also designed to handle daily cleaning routines, sweeping floors, wiping surfaces, and sorting trash. According to Tesla, its battery is optimized to run up to 20 hours on a 2.5-hour charge, enough to complete a full day's work. Equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, Optimus can recognize small household items like cups, chopsticks, and plates, handling them without dropping or breaking. It can also take on secondary cleaning tasks such as sweeping the kitchen floor or wiping down counters. What makes this possible is its multitasking AI, which constantly evaluates the environment to maximize efficiency and prevent accidents. Tesla engineers note that even subtle adjustments like recalibrating grip strength on a slippery tomato are handled automatically, showcasing the robot's impressive dexterity and situational awareness. Tesla emphasizes that dexterous hands are the key to mastering household tasks. Optimus Home is equipped with hands featuring 22 degrees of freedom and 26 degrees of freedom in one arm, capable of adjusting force and movement with precision, whether it's peeling an egg, chopping vegetables, or stirring dough. According to Tesla's lead engineer, mass producing these hands so the robot can perform such a wide range of actions is 50 times harder than building a robotic arm for a factory. If you place Optimus Home in a typical family lunch setting, it can open the fridge, select ingredients, cook rice, prepare the main dish, and clean up afterward, all without any human intervention. This is clear proof that Tesla is moving closer to creating a robot that takes real initiative in everyday family life, no longer just a pre-programmed tool designed to assist humans. Tesla is preparing to manufacture millions of humanoid robots, and the company plans to keep ramping up until production reaches billions of Optimus units worldwide. So... My guess is humanoid robots are more like at a, a, a billion plus per year. The reality is, these robots will take on countless tasks inside your home, and all you'll need to do is spend around $20,000 to own one. Elon Musk and the Tesla team have repeatedly highlighted the wide range of jobs Optimus can handle from the simple to the highly complex. It's no coincidence Tesla is confident in calling Optimus the most advanced humanoid robot in the world. During Tesla's recent earnings call, Elon Musk revealed that Tesla Bot 3 is expected to launch later this year with an extraordinary design optimized for mass production. However, he stopped short of explaining exactly how it will differ from the current Gen 2 model. And here's an important clarification. The yellow and black Optimus units with upgraded arms we've seen recently are only version 2.5, not the true Optimus Gen 3. Musk confirmed on X, We haven't shown Optimus Viv 3 yet. It is sublime. The second two images are V2 and V2.5 inches. Elon Musk has just officially brought up the upcoming Tesla shareholder vote. But what the world is truly waiting for is whether Tesla will finally unveil Optimus in its fully finished form. With a humanoid robot like the Tesla bot, it's clear you'll be saving three things everyone wants more of time, 
energy, and money by letting it take over household management. And when it comes to the kinds of tasks TeslaBot can handle, Musk has repeatedly stated with confidence that it can truly replace humans in daily work that's boring, dangerous, or repetitive. He's even hinted at the possibility of people making money with this robot. Still, many people remain skeptical about the real role of Tesla Bot if it actually hits the market. We've seen plenty of comments saying that even if Elon Musk dropped the price to $10,000 or even $5,000, they wouldn't spend the money if it turned out to be nothing more than an expensive toy with limited functions. But the truth is undeniable. The main reason customers, including us, would turn to a robot is to make everyday life easier. With only 24 hours in a day, most of us spend over eight of them at work. Coming home to a pile of chores can feel like a nightmare. Now imagine a different scenario. You walk through the door to find a hot meal freshly cooked, a spotless house, and better yet, the robot is ready to grab you a cold beer or any drink from the fridge while you relax on the sofa. Sounds amazing, right? Well, it's not a dream. Tesla's Optimus really could make this your reality. Up to now, we firmly believe Optimus will be able to sear a steak without burning down the kitchen or casually walk the dog in pouring rain. And yes, that's not hyperbole. Optimus Gen 3 is expected to leap far ahead of Gen 2.5 in both design and capability. But Elon Musk has never been satisfied with robots that stop at physical tasks. The promise of 100 tasks per day or 3,000 tasks in total never filled his ambition. He's always pushing boundaries. In Genesis 3, Tesla plans complete reinvention, not just incremental upgrades. From integrating the Grok AI engine, leveraging XAI's conversational model, to possibly bundling free Starlink connectivity, Optimus will become an entirely new class of machine. According to recent reports, Grok AI will serve as Optimus's natural language brain, enabling it to understand, reason, and converse, not just follow commands. Meanwhile, Tesla is pointing towards Starlink's mobile and satellite networking infrastructure as a backbone for connectivity in remote or smartphone disconnected environments. Consider what that combination unlocks. A humanoid robot that actively interprets voice instructions, adapts to changing surroundings, and remains online anywhere. No more relying on local Wi-Fi or tethered command links. Meanwhile, Tesla has already stated that Gen 3 must solve three core cas centuries. Hand dexterity, a powerful AI brain, and scalable mass production. The hands in Gen 3 prototypes reportedly move actuators into the forearm with cable-driven finger motion, not unlike a human's tendon system intended to improve control and range. This aligns with Musk's insistence that the hand is the linchpin. Without human-level manipulation ability, a robot cannot truly act autonomously in a messy home environment. An impressive new hand design alone isn't enough to prove capability. But in this case, it truly highlights the robot's extraordinary potential. Tesla's newly showcased hand is reportedly water-resistant, a critical feature that, if confirmed, would allow the robot to operate in far more flexible environments. Previously, Optimus was equipped with hands featuring 11 degrees of freedom, enough to handle delicate tasks like folding clothes, watering plants, holding an egg without breaking it, assembling electronic components, or carrying a battery tray. Now, with Tesla revealing a new hand design boasting 22 degrees of freedom, the robot's range in fine, complex tasks is set to expand dramatically. One standout proof of this progress came in a video Tesla released in 2024, showing Optimus using its new hands to catch a tennis ball with remarkable precision. While it may look like a simple move, in reality, it requires a finely tuned balance of tactile sensors, actuators, and control software. In a post on Twitter, Elon Musk noted that combining vision-based AI with the robot's arm mechanics to let it catch a ball would be easy to achieve in the coming quarter. A key point, half of the mechanical complexity of Optimus lies in its hands, meaning if the hands are limited, the entire robot can't reach its full potential. Unlike many traditional robot designs, Tesla doesn't place individual motors inside each finger, a method that often makes robotic hands bulky, heavy, and less flexible. Instead, Tesla installs the actuators in the forearm and uses a system of elastic cables, mimicking human tendons, to transmit force and control finger movement. The advantage of this approach is that Optimus's hands are smaller, lighter, and far more energy efficient. Each cable is equipped with force sensors, allowing the robot to feel the softness or hardness of an object and adjust its grip accordingly. That means Optimus can drive a screw with high precision 
while still being delicate enough to hold a fragile egg without breaking it. Meanwhile, in the global humanoid robot race, competitors like Wuji Tech in China are also developing hands with over 20 degrees of freedom, the ability to grip objects weighing up to 20 kilograms, and highly advanced force sensors. But Tesla's edge comes from its integration of mechanics, sensors, and software, combined with the powerful Tesla Vision system originally built for cars, enabling continuous optimization through software updates. How is the latest testing of Tesla Bot Gen 3 going? When Musk first revealed the idea of a Tesla bot in 2021, plenty of critics dismissed it as a gimmick designed to distract from Tesla's ongoing struggles with self-driving software. But at the latest shareholder meeting and through recent demonstrations, Optimus showed a very different picture. Instead of a clunky humanoid stumbling through rehearsed motions, the robot performed recognizable tasks, picking up objects and placing them away, carrying packages, cleaning up a space, delivering water bottles, and sorting items in an environment designed to mimic a store or home. Reports quickly spread that it had worked continuously for nearly an entire day, completing 22 hours of activity with only a short recharge, the kind of stamina no human worker could ever match. Observers were impressed not just by the endurance, but by the steady improvement in the robot's capabilities. Earlier generations could barely walk. Generation 2 introduced smoother locomotion and simple manipulation. Now Gen 3 is demonstrating dexterity with its upgraded hands that have 22 degrees of freedom, only slightly fewer than a human hand. Musk even claimed the robot will soon be able to thread a needle or play the piano, tasks once thought impossibly delicate for machines of this scale. For Musk, this is just the beginning. He has openly described future versions of Optimus as approaching the level of characters like C-3PO and R2-D2 from Star Wars, not only capable of working but also customizable, with different personalities, voices, and behavioral patterns tailored to their owners. The idea of a personal robot assistant with a chosen accent and tone of communication no longer sounds like an idle fantasy. The leap from laboratory prototype to real-world usefulness, however, is never smooth. Controversy quickly emerged around the demonstration. Some critics argued that certain complex hand movements were still being remotely guided by human operators, a form of teleoperation that allows Tesla to stage tasks that the robot cannot yet perform autonomously. Musk's defenders countered that such interventions are temporary and that every remote action teaches the AI system to improve. In other words, what appears today as human assistance could soon be automated through machine learning just as Tesla's full self-driving system improves by processing data from millions of cars. The distinction matters because while Optimus can clearly walk and balance without help, the real challenge lies in fine motor skills, context understanding, and seamless autonomy in unpredictable environments. Musk insists that Optimus will learn quickly, borrowing directly from Tesla's neural network approach in vehicles. The same AI architecture that interprets road signs, pedestrians, and traffic patterns will be repurposed to interpret kitchens, factories, and retail spaces. Tesla's advantage lies in its experience with data, sensors, and large-scale machine learning. Unlike robotic startups that must build supply chains and computing infrastructure from scratch, Tesla already mass-produces motors, batteries, and vision-based AI chips for its cars. This integration allows the company to adapt its existing technology to humanoid robots at a cost rivals cannot match. The shock came when Musk revealed how cheap the robots could become. At scale, he estimated production costs as low as $10,000 per unit, with a market price around $20,000. That figure is mind-bending. For less than the cost of a compact car, a household or business could have a tireless, rechargeable worker capable of dozens of daily tasks. Early models will undoubtedly cost more and analysts expect Tesla to lease rather than sell them at first, but the long-term economics are irresistible. Musk predicted that thousands of Optimus units would already be working inside Tesla's factories by 2025, with wider deployments to follow. The reasoning behind Musk's optimism is rooted in labor economics. Cars and batteries may be huge industries, but physical labor is an even larger one. Nearly every sector of the global economy depends on human muscle and dexterity. If a humanoid robot can replace even a fraction of that labor safely and efficiently, the value created dwarfs the automotive sector. Musk has gone as far as to predict that Optimus alone could raise Tesla's valuation to $25 trillion, more than half the combined worth of all 500 companies in the S&P index. Though this sounds outrageous, the logic is compelling. 
a robot that can work 22 hours straight without food, rest, or wages, could transform not just factories but agriculture, logistics, elder care, and retail. The disruption would be profound. Musk himself admitted that Tesla's workforce might shrink by 60% by 2030 as robots take over repetitive tasks. By 2040, entire categories of manual labor may be almost fully automated. For businesses, the benefits are clear. Reduced costs, fewer accidents, consistent precision, and no need to deal with lawsuits, unions, or human limitations. For workers, the picture is darker, as millions of jobs could vanish. Economists are already debating whether societies will need universal basic income or other safety nets to handle such a transformation. Skepticism remains high and not without reason. Robotics experts from institutions like Georgia Tech and the University of Sheffield warn that Musk's timelines may be overly ambitious. They argue that while factory demos by 20 to 25 are plausible, widespread commercial use will take longer, perhaps until the late 20s. The supply chain for humanoid robots simply does not exist yet, and Tesla must design specialized motors, gearboxes, and sensors from scratch. Moreover, A, I, capable of understanding every possible human environment, still has major hurdles to overcome. Even Tesla's cars, despite years of development and billions of miles of training data, have yet to achieve fully autonomous driving in all conditions. Handling a busy kitchen or a cluttered retail aisle may prove equally challenging. Still, it would be unwise to dismiss Musk. His history is full of overpromises that later became reality on longer timelines. Few believed Tesla could dominate the electric vehicle market, or that SpaceX could routinely land reusable rockets. Yet both are now facts. The same may hold for humanoid robots. If Tesla can steadily improve Optimus while reducing costs, the eventual breakthrough could come suddenly, much like the iPhone redefined mobile computing. The demonstration of Optimus working 22 hours straight is symbolic for this reason. It shows that the robot is not merely a stiff prototype for flashy videos, but a machine capable of real endurance. In practice, this means an Optimus deployed in a supermarket could stock shelves all night, clean floors before opening, and assist customers during the day, stopping only briefly to recharge. The productivity gap between such a machine and a human worker is immense. Even if autonomy is partial today, every iteration brings the vision closer. For Tesla, the gamble is monumental. Success would position the company not just as a car maker, but as the pioneer of the humanoid robotics industry. Analysts project the global humanoid robot market could be worth hundreds of billions within a decade. If Tesla secures even 10% of that market, it could reshape its entire business model. Musk is betting that Optimus will eventually generate more revenue than cars, energy storage, and autonomous taxis combined. Failure, however, would mean billions lost in research and development, along with damage to Musk's reputation for execution. So will paying $20,000 for a Tesla bot ever be worth it when cheaper robots are already on the market? And would you really spend the price of a new car on a robot that still isn't fully autonomous? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.